Hello all, I'm working with the UV Tech UKIT Intermediate STEM and Robotics Kit that's got, you know, a whole bunch of parts. And their app to program it is UKIT EDU. And I made their, one of their models. They have this nice little setup where they got all, oops, where they've got all these models in here and the thing that they have is lots of steps on how to build the model and they'll run you through step by step and they have some pretty complex models so doing a few and following the steps would be a good thing to at least to get started I'm gonna say I'm done building my cat so this is their lucky cat which those are supposed to be the ears and that would be the arm um, feet maybe and that's the idea of uh, lucky cat is that cat that waves at you in the store so I need to connect my model do, 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 do. And it says I've got all these parts I got one extra part on mine I'll tell you that in a moment so there is, you know, the setup to build, make it look like a cat, the servo to wave the arm, and here's all the parts to make, you know, make it look like an arm. That's supposed to be a paw, but I say these, I say that they're they're inverted. I think these outside two should be down, and these three should be up. But that's just me. Um, they also have a touch switch to activate, and then that's the on/off switch. I added the infrared sensor. That's what I added, um, and I'll tell you why in a minute. So there's my cat, and they've got some sample programs. Um, let's roll down to example one. So as you can see, it says, hey, when run is tapped, st restart. Um, that's just kind of, kind of keeps running, running, running. You'll see here, see how it keeps just running those things. And then it's got the touch ID sensor what kind of like when ID sensor is clicked wave forward so I will reach around behind and touch and it picks it and says it waves so they've got this thing called select action which you have to learn how to make actions I could have just used a uh, rotate servo back and forth kind of thing but they created an action so that's one thing you're gonna have to learn how to use. and it just says restart again so so it's still running the program's still running so anybody comes by and, you know, touches the servo, touches the touch switch, it's going to wave. So that's, that's their example program one. Example program two um, has several things. It's kind of showing you that the touch switches can uh, have multiple touch. When it's clicked, when it's double clicked, or when it's long pressed. So they, they've got different actions in there. Uh, we're going to wave forward, we're going to wave backwards, and then we're going to wave forward and backwards. So here we go. I'll do a single click. Oops, helps if I run the program. Now, let's see, I'll do a single click. Now I'll try the double click. And now I'll try the long press. So that is their example two program. Oh, what's their example three program? Oh, just do a wave forward and backwards. When you click it once. Yeah. So those are the those are their programs that they gave you examples to play with and fiddle with. Now, as I said, I added the infrared sensor. Not because I needed eyes, but because it, it, to me it makes more sense um, when you get come close to it that something happens. Like when you walk by it, like it's sitting on a shelf and you open it at the door. So I created a program to do that. Um, so I've got, I'm over here, you know, we were in models, now I go to my project. I called it Hello Kitty. I need to connect my robot to that program. Again, it's got the servo, um, it's got the infrared sensor and the touch switch, touch button, touch button. 
And so that's what I made. So I, you know, when run is tapped, keep running, run the program. And I'll just turn it on. Um, and then IR sensor. And I had to repeat. It, it seems silly to me to only run once. So I had to repeat. And I used the reactions way forward, way backwards. There's other ways to code the same kind of actions. So here we go. We're going to we're gonna come close. Now I noticed that 500 milliseconds, well, half a second, is the shortest time. Um, I tried to put in like 200 and it defaulted to 500. So things work. So that's what I thought. I thought more with the IR sensor. Um, obviously, you could do uh, if statements, you could do a repeat forever and have it run through the if statements, um, different ways to code that. And but this is what uh, their first one of their first models was is their lucky cat. I called Hello Kitty. Um, and you built all this and it takes a while to build. There's a lot of little parts to put together um, just to get an arm waving. So that is what's going on here I'll rotate it around for you oh I got close to it so it's so it's waving All right. thanks for visiting talk later